Behind the Eating with Joey Chestnut, presented by Dude Wipes. Training for competitive eating is a lot of trial and error, and a lot of my methods and a lot of my tactics, I, I used to not tell the other eaters at all because I, I worked hard for them. My thought process for a lot of the training and practice is if I can eat 70 hot dogs in 15 minutes, why can't I eat it in 10 minutes? So I, I just have to work harder to get that food down. It's all in my stomach. It's all digesting. I just have to find a way to get, get my muscles to put the food in my stomach faster. The body is pretty amazing. A lot of people criticize me and say I abuse my body, but really I'm really in tune with my body and I'm able to make it do things, push it to incredible limits. And I pay attention to it when I'm fasting, when I'm eating, how much I can eat, and uh, when, I, when I'm recovering. Without a doubt, a competitive eater that really pushes themselves and really learns about their body is an athlete. The same way there are naturally good runners, there are naturally good eaters. But in order to be a, a real runner, a marathon runner, you have to train. Training season is exercising different muscle groups to make my body be able to eat more food. Uh, everything from my jaws, to my esophagus, to even my stomach. There's muscles in all those areas and I have to work each one of those things separately. When I start preparing, one of the first things I start doing is drink a gallon of water every morning. When I'm drinking a gallon of water, I'm, I'm counting how many gulps it takes and I, I get better and better throughout training season. In the beginning of the season when I start practicing, it takes me about 20 gulps to get a gallon of water down. Close to 4th of July, I'm doing a gallon of water in 11 gulps. That translates to being able to swallow bigger portions of food. It really helps me eat more during the contest. If I'm alone, most likely I'm doing burping exercises, whether I'm driving in a car or if I'm on a treadmill. I'm swallowing air and, and counting how many gulps I can take and then, then burping and then doing it again. <laughs> during a contest, I'm eating 15, 16 pounds of food and these little muscles in my esophagus, they get tired. Then you start feeling nauseous. And the burping exercises helps get those muscles in my throat and esophagus a little bit stronger and less likely to fatigue during the contest. I do a cleanse before every contest, pretty much a day and a half, no solid food, lemon juice and water until it's liquid coming out. We're talking about thousands and thousands of calories that my body has to digest. I make sure that I got going into the contest, I'm absolutely empty. I try to make sure it's a, it's a clean highway. The bathroom, it's kind of explosive. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not pretty. It's simple anatomy and biology. If, if people are gonna eat 15 pounds of food, there's gonna be 15 pounds of food coming out the other end. People are uh, a little bit unimpressed when I tell them that it, it comes in rounds. Nature's working its way and uh, it's not working its way out all at once. Some foods, it takes days to recover. Some foods, it recover really quickly. You have the, the greasy foods, pulled pork, pork ribs, chili verde burritos. They're rough on the body and uh, explosive on the, on the back end. My perfect bathroom has to be a little bit spacious. I don't want my elbows rubbing up on the walls where other people have been. And more importantly than that, I want to use something that makes me feel clean, makes me actually clean, and it's flushable. I bring dew wipes everywhere contests, road trips. It, it gets the job done, and it, it's a lot cleaner than toilet paper. I'm Joey Chestnut, world champion competitive eater, number one ranked eater in the world, and holder of 55 world records. Dude, now that's fresh. Next time on Behind the Eating. When you're shoulder to shoulder, you can feel the guy's energy next to you when he's getting full, when he's moaning, when he's burping. I'm, I'm competing against myself, but I'm, I'm so close to them. I, I, I can feel their pain. It's a weird feeling.